So when you get your servo out of the box, it, you basically get a servo and you get a servo horn. Uh, this is the one that comes with this uh, JR servo and it's the one we designed around. So what we need are these little connectors that uh, you can also buy at a hobby shop. I'm using the, the little mini, uh, mini easy connectors. Um, they're about the smallest ones I've been able to find. And you basically just put it through one of those holes and it comes with this little, um, it's almost like a little plastic uh, pressure washer that goes on the back. And you need to put it in there and it's a little hard to get in there at first, but once it's in, it's pretty much locked in. So once we get that on, this piece is gonna go right on there. I'll just um, roughly place it, but it'll need to be adjusted at the end. We'll roughly place it in there with this parallel to the servo horn. Then you just uh, snug it up and now you have that attached. And we'll, we'll go ahead and adjust that a little later. But we do that with all our servos and then we can go ahead and drop them right into our mechanism. Now what I did here, I, you notice I, we're, they're a little different. Um, you can cut all of these extra ones off if it, if, if it matters, um, just to get a little tighter. Um, we're not using any of these, but if anything should break, you could always switch over to another one. So it's really a personal preference whether you chop off the excess or, or leave them in there. All right, so now we're just gonna add some screws and lock the servos in place. These don't need to be super tight, just, um, snug them up and give them, just once they're snug, just give them a little tiny bit more. So now that we have the servos in place, we can go ahead and mount our eyelids. And basically we start by putting the inner screw and we drop them both into that screw, as so. And then while it's in place, we go ahead and put the outer screw in there. You just keep putting the screw in making sure it doesn't stick out on the inside. Just gonna back it up a little bit. And there we go. Now we have a set of eyelids. And these guys could be popped into their Can be popped into their little ball link. So now that we have both eyes uh, assembled with servos, we can go ahead and drop the eyeball in there. And it won't fit, but there's just enough stretch for it to go just pop inside. And we kind of, what we do is we wiggle around. It looks like it has a little bit too much gap right in this area here. So you could do it by measuring or you could just, um, you just eyeball it. I'm basically readjusting the, the height of this ball here to try to get the ball on center between these two lids. Right now you can tell it's way too low just from the gap. So we're gonna rotate this counterclockwise to bring the ball a little higher. Open it up and test it again. That seems much better. All right, that's looking pretty good. We can always make more adjustments later, but for now, it's, it seems right. We're gonna go ahead and drop it on our stand just so we have a place to work. 